12 a.m. January 2020, I saw hands lifted in the air singing Hosanna to the Most High. The year of twos and zeros has come in fancy attire. Hashtag 2020 attacked our media space and territory with joy and laughter. Just when our prayers were about penetrating the cloud and layers, wishes became witches flying like birds right above what we desired. Boom! The year dropped like a bomb in our faces, beating casualties on different faces and just lives were taken. I studied faces and really know the energy that a year shouldn't come with so many faces thrown right into our faces. First, it was a battle of 20 minutes and washing in a basin. For months, we fought with unseen forces in the guise of a virus just to obey the basics of living. I thought just the stars were meant to be tickled, but Corona came in a corner and a tinkle of an eye, the entire world bowed to the tradition of nose and mask and truth in the skies. We became masquerades, heading towards a crusade of our own unrighteousness. In our hops and downs, I mean locks and down, we root count down to the rising of businesses, messages of peace to humans who died like chickens, prayed rest for our eyes that was lost in expectation of freedom as we sanitize our worries from the virus. In between the fight against the pandemic, pandemonium took the mic for an opera against injustice. A bullet was shot and yes, wounded, many lives were cut short. At that justice for Tina wasn't just until it got to Twitter. We stood for Hua and a cold body kilometers away beneath our life tower. Tower. Tina and the faces of the female folks who appeared on newspapers as dead bodies became hashtag celebrities personified, died in a game of brutality against humanity, but we bought them the same popularity that we could not afford when their dreams could talk. Savages. Public figures on display for justice that has been sold for thousands of figures. I saw the hearts, yes. But our rights were nothing but a failure of speech or, should we say, a figure of speech personified into ironical lies from our metaphoric leaders. Do not call it simile when our cheeks couldn't form a smiley in the face of end rape, protect our girls. We unscared lived in fear of a beast who sees the consent to unlock our shirt as a luxury that it can't dismiss. But how low is it no that it gets so hard to be heard? Yet, poverty prayed so hard that the scarcity policed us against breaking fast, so we do break fast into dinner with little desire. Fashion 2020 got so impaired, and strength leaned on the lenses of hope, so we never despaired. How can I forget? How can I forget the day we peeped into our future like the men on the khaki? We used the count keys to decree against every appearances of evil breeding in our country. And sirs, who? I mean, excuse me, sirs. And to robbery turned robbery, what an irony. I saw the match. We marched along this estate cart walked in like a world class model seizing the attention of the old pervert and governance. Its footsteps saga differences on the national stage, a single voice beckoning in thousands of bodies challenged the position of corruption as a core option. Hashtag Edsars became the best in the lips of every Nigerian youth. We attracted the universe as compatriots who speaks up even in the face of persecution and tribulations. We shunned their bullets, the founders of every corner of our struggle. They told lives to heaven without a certification of paradise for those that were left behind. 2010 2020 embedded the desire for a change in our memories, a tale of blood and tears for the historians yet unborn, a tale of pride and prize for the patriots whose mouths could tell, a tale of respect for the generation that fought against bullets with a naira sign. If 2020 was a hashtag, I will describe it on the surface of my profile, romancing its body into different lessons for many seasons, telling tales of the humans that became bodies in seconds just to tell a better story. If 2020 was a hashtag, I would trend it in expensive attires, ascribe speciality of my desire and a gaze of royalty into its existence. If 2020 was a hashtag, I will make it a media dog, a surveillance to the palliatives and warehouses and national seats. In a nutshell, the year of twos and zeros came like a harsh with a tag of bravery. But we shall never forget.